Hello soap fans. Like you, I love the soaps. But we're being insulted. And it's time for someone to come along to evolve what it means to be a UK soap, a UK continuing drama. And that's me, boys and girls. I might be overconfident, arrogant, but I believe I can do it. I have decided today, about an hour ago, that I am going to make an online soap. Totally serious, this is totally going to happen. I've already put some um, irons in the fire. Uh, it's going to be called Darewood. Uh, when the soap starts, uh, the whole arc will be that a young woman in Darewood Close has gone missing. And that's how it begins. And you may think, boring, seen that. This is going to be very different. And um, it will be different to what you're used to seeing on Coronation Street, Emmerdale, Hollyoaks, EastEnders. This will be something new. As I keep on saying to you, soaps need to evolve. So I'm going to make my own one. Uh, so, but this is how it's going to work. It's going to be an online soap. It's, each episode will be 10 minutes. Each episode will be written and directed by me. I also play a, a, one of the characters in it. Um, it will be all be shot in the UK later this year. Um, from, from now till then, I'm looking for sponsors. So um, that's what I will be doing. That's what it will, be, will entail. Um, I haven't actually written the first episode yet, but I know what it's going to be about. As I said, there would... And we start off with a missing young woman, and that's I haven't I have I haven't got character names as such, but I have got a set of character names that I created for something else many years ago. So this this will be via Facebook video and YouTube video. Um, that's how you'll be able to see it. Um, I'm, I'm obviously I'm not looking for totally polished professional actors. What I want. Is a small cast. I want this to be an ensemble piece. So maybe five, five to ten cast members. Uh, maybe start off with five even. Um, so it's a tight knit story. And as I say, I'm not looking for polished actors. I'm looking for um, more wannabe actors. But what I want looks the look of this show has to be more. Um, I want I want the characters to look and their bodies and their faces to look like a real person's living inside them. I don't want to go this kind of everyone looks beautiful and perfect and everyone's got ribbed abs or firm breasts. That's not what I want. I want to see real looking people. I want to see I want to see different types of demographics. Um of course we're going to have gay characters, uh, female gay characters and male gay characters, but I don't want their sexuality to define them, because I am fed up of uh, gay characters on soaps just going on about how gay they are, and um, there's more to people than that, isn't there, surely? Your sexuality doesn't define you. I'm straight, but my sexuality doesn't define me. It doesn't make me who I am. I don't believe it does anyway, um, seeing the fact that it's been a quite a long time since I've had it. But anyway, we don't want to go into that, do we? So that's what's going to happen. Online soap called Darewood, 10-minute episodes daily, seven days a week, um, all shot in the UK, written and directed by me. I will play a character. Um, I don't know what character I'm going to play yet, and this is what I'm looking to do. Um, instead of me sitting here moaning about EastEnders or any other soaps, um, it's time. The beautiful thing about being online, about being able to converse with you lot on YouTube and Facebook video, and I can do this. I can do an online soap. I don't need a TV company. I don't have to sit there thinking, oh, I wish someone would give me a break. I can give myself a break. I could have done this years ago because I was too, just too stupid to think about it. So why not? Why can't I do my own online soap? No, I'm not experienced, but I know what I want to see. And I believe, I believe with the amount of soap fans I talk to, this could be something that we could really put out together. And um, I want to get people's opinions if we were starting from scratch for a brand new soap, imagine the name, dare word, imagine the concept that a young woman goes missing. What do you want to see from this soap, this daily 10 minute soap? What do you want to know? What do you want to see from it? That's what I, I, that's what I want to know from you, boys and girls and you in between. I want to know what you want to see from a daily online soap. And the other thing I'm desperate to do, which really winds me up, is... Um, I want to portray teenage characters in a different way. For example, let me give you an example. Bethany is pretty much playing the, the naughty schoolgirl, isn't she? Now, again, they're over-sexualizing teenage girls. 
it's wrong and you have to ask questions of the people doing it. Why why is Bethany wearing that short skirt with no tights on? Is that really a school uniform? Isn't is it in bad taste? Well, when you know when we know the dangers that uh, teenage teenagers face or or kids face on their way to school and things like that, it's just it's so irresponsible, people. So I want to portray the problem is with UK soaps a lot of them teenagers are arseholes. Now, let me tell you something. By stereotyping and saying every teenager is an arsehole, you're the arsehole, as far as I'm concerned. Teenagers are like everyone else. They're people. And each individual person is different. So you can't stereotype. You can't stereotype me because I've got Greek Cypriot parents and we're all the same. That is not true. We're all individual people. So I want to create individual characters that go on emotional, character-driven journeys that you, the people who watch my videos and are friends with me on Facebook, who follow me on Twitter, are interested in. Because if no one's going to watch them, if I'm going to do something just for me, what is the point? I want I want to discuss it with you. I want to know what you want to see. Um, I want to give everyone what they want. And so we can be on the same page. So we can be on the same team. And we can all get something out of this. Rather than me, as I just said, doing something because I want to do it. I've told you what I want from a, a soap. But also, I don't want it just to be totally realistic. I want to do far out there storylines. Storylines that you don't, you wouldn't see in your ordinary UK soaps. Things that... It doesn't have to be about affairs all the time, does it? And people kissing and relationships and marriages. Some deaths and funerals and all of that. That, of course, that will be part of it. But you can kind, of, I can kind of look for stories with your help that are not covered in soaps. Um, we've had rapes being done. We've had um, HIV being dealt with. We've, we've seen cancer being dealt with. I want to deal with social issues in this, but I don't want to go over the same old ground that the other soaps are doing and the way they plug it and PR it like they're doing something ground groundbreaking. They're not. Every single... I want to deal with social issues. If you know of a social issue that's not been done in one of our UK soaps, I want you to tell me about it so I can do it. And I want... And then when we decide to do this, I want to meet real people facing these issues and I want to tell their stories via the fiction, via this online soap, Dare Wood. Um, so that's what I'm looking to do. I am extreme. I only came up with this idea an hour ago, but I'm really excited. I was going to do a soap. Well, I was going to write episodes on my Facebook notes um, every day. Um, I can't find the notes um, function on my Facebook anymore. I think they got rid of it. I don't know. But so I'm not going to do that anymore anyway. I'm going to do this a proper um, live action. Uh, online daily soap 10 minutes long and I want real people to play the characters and I want to see real life everyday people um, I've seen more beautiful women when I lived in England I walked up my local high street Bromley High Street I saw more beautiful girls and women up there than I, I have on when I go onto Facebook or Twitter and I see all these celebrities these fake celebrities with their surgeries and their nips and tucks I want to see real women re real boys real girls that you look real and I don't want this fake nonsense i want to see real everyday people I'm not interested in um if you know if you're if you're naturally a thin that's fine but if you have actually forced yourself to go to a size zero i don't want to encourage that i don't think it's fair and i don't think it's right so they're not the type of things what i want to see i want to see people of all shapes sizes creeds colors and we can do something really special here an exciting daily soap that the world will be interested in watching and I want your feedback. As I said, I want to know what you want. Because I want to make something for, for you guys. Because I don't believe our UK soaps are being made for you guys. I think you're being insulted. And I think we're being taken for a ride. And um, it stops now. So instead, as I said, instead of me moaning about what they're doing and what they're not doing. And who's writing it and who's not writing it. I'm done. I'm done with the UK soaps. I'm not going to bother with them. I'll retweet gossip and spoilers. Because um, I know you guys are interested in them. So it's Movies TV Mad on Twitter, Mick Minus on Facebook. Um, get involved. Come tell me what you want to see. Let's make an awesome soap that you want to see. And I'll be proud to do it for you because that's the way it should be. We, sh you know, we should make something for the masses rather than just thinking of ourselves. I don't want to be self-indulgent. I want to do something for you guys. And then that will give me a buzz that everyone's enjoying it rather than saying, oh, that Mick Meanus, what a, you know, without swearing. So that's all I've got time for. 
10 minutes are up. I want your feedback and I want it now. See you later. Bye-bye.